Well, here we're looking at uh, GLD, and we did have initially uh, some potential for this to be some kind of leading diagonal kind of getting out of here, mainly because we saw a pretty good aggressive initial move. I thought maybe we were going to start to see this kind of come out and, and get a little stronger. But when we drew this, we drew this uh, regression channel, and we talked about this, and we and, and those that work with the regression channels know that there th there's... Uh, it, some importance especially when they break them and we saw this break this and go a little bit lower now we were given a little bit of latitude because we were still in an uptrend here now you could still see this hold this and I think that that's important we're still seeing it hold the trend line so it's going to be important that it holds the 115 not breaking that I think if it breaks that I think we probably go into the 110 105 now keep in mind we've talked about gold for some time that saying that it's didn't even look as good as silver but in the short term we were seeing a little bit of a nice reactionary move off of that and we, when we talked about this channel uh, the regression channel on the longer term we said that this was a very significant range that it had to kind of break through and eventually and when we came to the midpoint which we're at it has to hold it so what we're seeing is action coming back into the midpoint of this channel and this will be very very crucial that it holds this and starts to break back up over the 120 as you can see this ATR uh, average true range at uh, 120 would be, you know, the bias would be a little better if it was to the upside there, because based on what we're seeing on the moving average and the and the average true range, very likely you could see some uh, continued action to the downside.